The overall goal of the following experiment is to measure path navigation in three dimensions while controlling visual and vestibular sensory input to the participant. This is accomplished using a modified robotic chair with six degrees of freedom that stimulates the vestibular system. Seated in the chair, the participant views a virtual star field. By moving the robotic chair and simultaneously altering the star field, the system provides visual and vestibular cues to the participant. The participants provide path navigation feedback by the accuracy and the speed with which they can point back to their remembered starting position. The results show that inaccurate estimation of self-motion is dependent on the movement plane and the angle through which they are moved. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like motion platforms is that the MPI Cyber Motion Simulator has a large workspace capable of moving observers in different dimensions, particularly downward. This method can answer key questions in the field of neuroscience, such as whether the brain equally represents self-motion in different dimensions. We got the idea to these experiments from a study of our colleague Manuel Vidal. He moved people through virtual mazes with visual presentation only. Here he found that maze navigation performance is impaired when the maces include a vertical component. The implications of this technique extend towards diagnosis of spatial disorientation because they provide a benchmark for path navigation in the normal brain. The MPI Cyber Motion Simulator consists of a six-joint serial robot in a 3-2-1 configuration.